What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and each and every time Disney reveals something else about the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, it gets met in a few different ways, with either laughter, disappointment, or anger. Laughter from people like myself, who felt the entire time this is going to be a massive dumpster fire, just like nearly everything involving Disney Star Wars. Disappointment from the people who are hoping that this would be a good experience, and anger from those who have already shelled out thousands of dollars to go to this and now they're forced to make the decision am i going to cancel my reservations after the garbage that has come out from disney well today is no different as we have more news coming out just one picture is all it takes for some people to understand that this is the most minimal effort they could possibly put into this thing and it's going to be bad galactic star cruiser is quote just a mess fans call out yet another disney decision and I think it's important to note that when it comes to the people that are reacting to this, uh, yeah, of course, I'm making YouTube videos about it. A couple other people are making videos about it. But the reason these things are becoming stories is because people that do follow Disney World, people that wanted to like this, they're the ones who are getting really upset and pushing back against Disney for this disaster. Uh, fans call it yet another Disney decision. For months now, the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser has come under fire for a myriad of reasons, from the lackluster appearance on the luxury Carillion Starliner staterooms to the $6,000 cost for a two-night trip. When Star Wars Hotel was originally announced at the 2017 D23 Expo, Disney purported for the first time fans could truly become part of the Star Wars story, even role-playing as their own Star Wars characters. We'll see if they continue to let that happen. I don't even think you can walk around there without a mask on, so I'm not sure exactly how immersive it's going to be. Imagine spending $6,000 to be forced to wear a mask for two straight days. What? Oh, what a disaster Disney is. Now, with its first voyage on the Halcyon Luxury Starship blasting off on March 1st, Disney has ramped up its marketing efforts, but unfortunately, the idea of the experience is falling flat with, with would-be guests now they've gotten a glimpse of what's to come. Many, in fact, have begun canceling their trips. We've talked about that a lot. The fact that the first three months were straight solid booked, and then all of a sudden more than half of those spots became open very bad way, especially when you're pushing marketing. They were forced to take down their videos, their promotional videos. They spent how much money and how much time and effort doing, they pulled them down because in reaction to that, people just started canceling their reservations. That's how bad all of the marketing has been. Now fans online have yet another reason to be concerned. It seems though the attire for the cast member crew would be helming the Halcyon were taken directly from the Star Wars launch base. So they didn't even, they didn't even create uh, you know, new designs for this. They took some leftover stuff, stuff that was already made for a different part, for a different part of the, the Disney world, for Star Wars Launch Bay, and they decided we're just going to use those instead, and they are getting roasted for this. The latest backlash started when Disney World Resort president Jeff Vouse shared the following post to Instagram, and for some reason it's not working, but don't worry, I pulled it up right here. We can see that's what you saw in the headline. Here's Jeff Val. I think it's Jeff Val or Jeff Valley. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Had a great time visiting with the crew at Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. May the stars light their way as they prepare the Halcyon Star Cruiser for its inaugural voyage on May 1st. Hashtag Walt Disney World. These are the first two comments, all right? First two comments. $5,000 a room and the cast members get recycled Space Mountain Disneyland costumes. Clown face. Uh, all I want is to feel like I got my money's worth, dot, 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 says Disneyland nurse. Well, shockingly, a lot of the comments are about how they look with nurses with these scrubs. Now, if you've been there, if you've seen any of the promotional stuff, I want to show you this. When people are talking about, oh, Star Wars Launch Bay, this is what they're talking about. These uniforms for the cast members that have been here for years, right? Ever since they introduced this. Well, now they're just recycling those and using them again for the Galactic Star Cruiser. This is one of the reasons people are so upset is because they thought that this was going to be a luxury, one-of-a-kind immersive experience, right? And you should think that if you're paying six grand for a two-night stay there, you'd think that it would be top of the line, that it would be innovative, that it would be extravagant, that every single thing would be so detail-oriented, but no. Every time something comes out, it looks like generic sci-fi. It doesn't even look like Star Wars. And now we find out to maybe cut costs or something like that, they're, they're recycling these uniforms that you've already seen in other parts of Disney World. Like, how pathetic is that? 
and people, again, you can see the top two comments there. There was definitely more reaction to it. Garrison McCraw says, oh my God, the Star Cruiser is just using launch bay costumes. This is just a mess. Uh, I'm not saying that I want the Galactic Star Cruiser to be a failure, but I'm also not saying the Galactic Star Cruiser isn't a complete and total mess. These are people that are fans of Disney World that want this to be good, that want to go there. They're the ones that are having these types of reaction. They look like healthcare workers. They do. They look like healthcare workers in scrubs, especially with their masks on. Uh, they are because the vitals for the Star Cruiser don't look good. Oof. The book of Soda Fett. Oof. Uh, someone else says, is this the janitorial crew for the Star Cruiser? Does not feel very immersive, especially for the price. Why are the Galactic Star Cruiser uniforms making me mad? I, I don't know. That's a good point. And I think if we scroll through, I'm sure there's some positive comments here. Uh, I'm sure there is. Let, let's see. So exciting. God bless our healthcare workers. I don't know if that's a troll or not. I don't know if that's a troll or not. Can't wait to see it. So excited. New chapter begins. So exciting. The defunct land episode is going to be lit. Oh, now you get into a couple others that maybe aren't so nice. I would rather spend five grand to fly to Tokyo and visit Tokyo Disney than stay at this. From what I'm seeing, I'll spend my vacation money elsewhere. No one in the Star Wars universe dresses like that, cutting corners, and that's what they're saying. And we know that Bob Chapek has, you know, had, has a big, uh, big priority to make sure to cut costs whenever they can to maintain maximum profitability. So maybe that's where this all started. Who knows? Maybe it's just his influence, whatever, is, you know, continuing to, to reign in the parks like this. But a lot of people are criticizing them, and I think rightly so. Because it seems like every time something else comes out, the minimal effort possible was put into the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. Now, I feel bad for the cast members themselves. They're just workers. They just applied for jobs. They're just doing their thing. And uh, a lot of them are probably getting put on blast and getting caught up in this thing. When in reality, it's the people in charge, the people that are making this decision, the people at Disney, at Lucasfilm, that decided that this was the route they were going to go when it comes to this luxury experience for fans. I don't think this is really for Star Wars fans. This is just a way to trick people into giving Disney even more money for a terrible experience. But let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Who would want to go to this at this point? Why are there still people willing to shell out thousands of dollars for this? You tell me in the comments. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.